So how was your weekend? It was pretty cool. How was yours? It was fun. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, didn't see you there. What is up, Casey? We're back to talk about some upcoming events. Congrats to Miss Marikey on winning the Impact on Education Award. Speaking of Miss Marikey, if you have any awesome photos for our yearbook, specifically Casey Sports, please email um, emily.marikey at bvsd.org. This week's 212 cleanup crew is Miss Serena and Mr. Cordova's 212. Mountain Flower Goat Dairy applications are due March 1st. Please send them to mayalanthony at gmail.com. Boulder County Youth Corps is in the counseling office. Applications are due March 30th. The Adelesco Youth Exchange meeting is on Sunday, March 11th from 2 to 4 p.m. on the second floor of the Boulder Public Library. What's poppin' Casey? I'm Laurel. And I'm Peter. Today we're going to be talking about how to stay organized in school. First, when you're studying, make sure to get rid of distractions like your phone. Second, make sure to stay organized. Using folders and binders can help you with that. Last, make sure to pay attention in class so you know what you're studying. Thanks, Casey. Keep up the hard work. Woo! Hi, Casey. We're going to talk to you about the USB-shaped device that is sweeping schools across the nation, the Juul. The Juul is a type of e-cigarette. The top component of a Juul is the pod. This contains a flavored substance and also contains nicotine. The bottom part has the rechargeable battery and also vaporizes the liquid. So, um, uh... E-cigarettes are advertised as a safer alternative to regular cigarettes, even though studies have shown it will eventually lead back to conventional smoking and cigarettes. Because of how new jewels are, the health effects are still unknown. The health effects we have seen are things like dry skin, dry mouth, puffy eyes, coughs, nausea, impaired wound healing, higher risk of blood clots, harm in brain development, and finally nicotine addictiveness has been compared to heroin. One part of <laughs> of a jewel is equivalent to one pack of uh, cigarettes. It is also not regulated by the FDA and um, is not required to disclose all the ingredients, making it even more dangerous. We hope these couple facts will help you uh, make a more informed decision the next time you come across a jewel. Bye, Casey. Bye. What's, What's up, Cubs? I'm Maddie. And I'm Emma. We all know that 8th graders are going to high school soon, so let's get some tips from Miss A on how to sign up for classes. Hi, we're here with Miss A. Can you tell us about some tips for high school classes? Yes, some of my tips include checking out this board upstairs in the 8th grade hallway. As you see, there's two forms depending on what high school you are going to attend. And then there's three important points in the middle. You have until Monday, March 5th to turn in your forms. All students, no matter if you're going to Boulder High or Fairview, have to take wellness. And if you need an extra form, they're in the counseling office in a uh, little file. So they're really easy to access. But remember, they're due on March 5th. And then some of my other advice I would give to you all is that choose classes um, depending on you as a learner and what's best for you. Your first semester of your high school year is so important because that's what when you establish your GPA. And it's going to be better if you establish a really high GPA because it's going to be easier to maintain that GPA than starting off with a low GPA and then working your whole high school career to get that up so you can apply for scholarships and colleges your junior and senior year. So my advice would be choose classes that are appropriate for you and your level. Thank you. <laughs> That's, That's all, all Cubs. Cubs. Thanks, Ms. A, for the I tips. We hope this helped you guys out. Got a blast. Yes, it. Hey, Casey. It's Maya. Two weeks ago, Casey got to experience an amazing performance by the ballet students. The dances were so cool, and the costumes were so pretty, and looked spectacular on everyone. The amount of work the students put in to make these dances look phenomenal is astounding. Thank you so much, ballet students. As you guys may know, that registration is coming up. Um, for classes next year at Casey for 6th and 7th graders. Um, so if you guys are thinking about hey. signing up for Bila, we're going to hear from some Bila students on why you should. I'm here with Quinn. Quinn danced in the Bila performance two weeks ago, so let's, we're going to hear from Quinn on why you should join Bila next year as a 7th or 8th grader. Uh, I think that you should join Bila because it's a lot of fun and you really develop a good relationship with everybody in the class. But it does take a lot of commitment and a lot of hard work, so, yeah. 
I'm here with Juan, Damien, and Crystal, and they're going to be telling us a little bit about why they think you guys should join Violet next year. Well, I think you should join Violet because it's a really fun class, and you get to make a lot of friends. And I think you should join Violet because you get to learn more about the experience of Mexico and other places. I think you should join Violet because you get to do really fun presentations. You get a lot of food. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bye, students. We'll see you next time. Hey, Cubs. I'm Emma. And I'm Maddie. And you already know what's about to go down. Casey's got talent. Let's go. We're here with Miss Height's class, and they're going to show us their cool talent. <laughs> Let's go. Wow, that was super sick. I know, right? Look forward to next week's Casey's Got Talent with Maddie and Emma. Got a blast! What's up, Casey? It's k 13 and I'm here to tell you about the Casey girls basketball team. Um, a huge shout out to the Casey girls basketball team and numerous energetic fans who came to cheer them on. Um, but the girls fought really hard the entire season. They should be proud of their amazing sportsmanship. Thanks, Amy Sanchez, for taking the amazing photos. Hey Casey, I'm Isabel <coughs> and I'm Rosie. On February 1st, we got to see students from every grade in their fifth period class. Here's some clips from the day. Hey,